thanks. Uh, you all right? Yeah. Good. I'm good too. My name's Sean McLaughlin. I'm all right. I, I, tense. A lot of tension in my life. Very tense at the minute. I've quit smoking and I'm moving house. I accidentally heard that song, Umbop, today. I'm a bit tense. It's sort of... <laughs> it's very... It's very difficult to move house today. It's very difficult to build a life if you're a young person, I think. Very difficult. It was much easier for older generations, I think. Much easier. The baby boomers, they had it sussed. They had it, so this is how I know. I was asked a question by a man in his 50s. A young person would never ask a young person, ever. I said to this guy, I'm moving house. He said, you're moving? Are you renting or buying? <laughs> <laughs> what? Am I renting or buying? Am I renting or buying? <laughs> buying? Hey, you're going to the butchers, are you? What are you getting? Sausages or gold? What you, what? <laughs> you think I can get a mortgage on a house? Mate, I'd struggle to get a mortgage on a baguette. Okay, so <laughs> I'm never going to own a house. I'm never going to own a house. Guys, I'm never going to own a house. I'm never going to... I'm never going to... I'm more likely to win the Grand National as a horse than to own a house. <laughs> Maybe some of you in here are thinking, but Sean, what about the fact there are parts of the country that are pretty affordable for a first-time buyer? <laughs> oh, really are there? Are there parts of the country where the asking price for a house is minus 1,600 pounds? Because <laughs> that's my budget. <laughs> it's a Burnley where they give you two grand for taking a house off their hands. I don't think so. It's bullshit. All these letting agents saying to me, well, if you move here, you'll be near the Sainsbury's. Well, then I can't move here. I do my food shopping in the discount aisle of Lidl. I can't shop here. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't even know Lidl had a discount aisle. Well, it does. It does. And believe you me, you shop there long enough, you start saying things. Things you never thought you'd ever say. Things like, hey, what's for dinner? Croutons or Slovakian Dairy Lee? What's for dinner? <laughs> Learn things. I've learned it. I tell you, I tell you now what doesn't taste like chicken. Otter. <laughs> oh God, save me. I'm so skin. I'm so skin. It's so hard, especially in this job. I'm a comedian. I've got to do things. I've got to go out and see people and observe them so I can write material about them, you know? The moment I can't afford to eat and I can't afford to leave the house. What sort of fucking material am I going to come up with? Hey, ever notice how your tears are thinner when you've got no potassium in your diet? Oh. <laughs> I have to think about my life and where I'm going because it's not just me, it's affecting. I've got a girlfriend. It's, well, it's kind of an interesting relationship, I suppose. I'm, I'm 27. I live with my girlfriend, who is 37. <laughs> yeah, it's been quite an ego boost for both of us. It really has. <laughs> go out with someone older. That's what I'd say to all of you. Go out with someone older. Even if you're with someone, break up with them. Find someone older, honestly. <laughs> my girlfriend is 37. She's 37. She's like a sexual partner and a constant reminder that the good times will end. Right, she's <laughs> like... What, you, what can two 27-year-olds offer each other apart from hope? Nothing. We can offer things. It's a system. I give her money for hit medicine, she gives me words as originals. It's a system. <laughs> this thing says this thing on. I love her. I love her with all my heart. I do. She's my best friend, my girlfriend. She's my best friend. She's got a catchphrase. How cool is that? My girlfriend's got a genuine catchphrase. Her catchphrase is, you're a liar, Sean. This is so catchphrase. <laughs> Oof. No. Going out for a few years, we reach a point where we realise we're very different people, me and her. We're very different people. That's not a problem in love. It's not a problem. And she's also very different to how you'd imagine. You know, you look at me, you maybe think I go out with a certain type of person. She isn't really like that. I mean, you look at me, you probably think I've drawn some tits on a shoebox. I'm calling it my girlfriend. That's all I eat. She's got a national insurance number and everything. <laughs> but I suppose the big difference is, is that she wants to get married. She's at an age, I guess, she wants to get married. And the thing is, I, I love her. I don't know if I love her enough to marry her. That's the truth. I don't, no, and that's not to say I don't love her. It isn't, okay? Because I do. I love her to bits. I love her to... I would take a bullet for her. But in the leg. <laughs> Does that make sense? I wouldn't take a headshot. I wouldn't... Or should I? If one of us has to die, it shouldn't be me. I'm young. I can still have a happy life. <laughs> anyway, um... That's me. Um, my name's Sean McLaughlin. Thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.